Okay, now in this video, I'm going to uh, demonstrate you how the ARP is going to resolve in case of WAN when you have a source address. Let's take an example. I'm going to take the source address is 192.168.1.1 and the destination address is 192.168.3.1. Now, how it's going to work? So now in this scenario, the default uh, address will be the source address. So when the packet is traveling here, so the source address will be, let me write down here, the source address when it is coming here, it will be 1.1 and the destination address will be 3.1. So the source IP and the destination IP will not change. Now we want to understand how the ARP or how it's going to work when the packet travels from here to here, how the resolution happens and how it's going to work. So in this scenario, when the ARP is going to resolve, it's going to resolve the source MAC address, let's assume the MAC address of this device is AB and the MAC address of this device is 2C and this is AC and this is 3D, something. Okay, so these are the MAC address of the routers and the PCs. Now when the ARP is resolving the MAC, so the source of MAC address will be always AB and here when it is sending a packet destined for this one, the destination MAC address will not be 2C, instead it will be the MAC address of the router. Because the ARP, when it is sending any packet outside the LAN, the, always the destination MAC will be AC. So the destination MAC will be how much? It will be AC. So it will write down that the destination MAC is AC and it will go to the switch. And what switch will do? Switch will see the MAC entries. If the destination uh, MAC address is present, it will send as a unicast. If it is not present, it will send as a broadcast. So now, that is again common, uh, common behavior. Now the router will do routing, it will see the destination address, it will forward the packet to the next hop and then router 2 will send the destination address, it will send the packet to the next hop and once the packet reaches the router 3. Now this is something all routings which we discussed already in our routing concepts so I'm not getting into that. So you know how, the, how routers check the routing table, show IP route command and all those things. Now once the packet reaches here, it's going to add the source address will be 1.1 and the destination address will be 1.3 so the IP addresses will not change and the source address will be source MAC will be now the ARP is going to work in this scenario again ARP is going to resolve the source address uh, source MAC will be 3D the MAC address of the router because the packet is coming from here this direction and the destination MAC will be 2C and the packet reaches the switch and the switch will identify whether it is a broadcast or unicast based on the MAC entries and then it will forward back to the PC here. So it's really important for you to understand the behavior of the ARP. So always remember when the ARP is resolving, if your direction is something like this, so you can expect some kind of questions in your certification exams based on this as well. The source MAC will be always the MAC address of the PC and the destination MAC address will be always the MAC of the router. If it is coming from this way, then it will be reverse. This is source, this is destination. And the same thing here happens uh, here. So this is how the, the ARP is going to work because the source and destination IPs will not change. IPs remains the same till the end, but the only the MAC entries will change based on the flow of the traffic. So this is how ARP is going to work in case of uh, communication between different networks.